That Canadian anti-mandate truck convoy uh, we discussed yesterday is really the most inspiring story around the world at the moment. For two years, Western governments in league with Chairman Xi and his crazy Wuhan bat fanciers have trashed the lives and livelihoods of their citizens. Certain unhip, unfashionable types have kept things going as best they can, like truck drivers without whom the shops would be even emptier than they are. And what thanks do they get two years in? Oh, by the way, we're going to screw you over too. That truck convoy is now closing in on Ottawa. They passed Wawa, Ontario, uh, which is the last gas station for 100 miles, and then rolled on down to Sault Ste. Marie, uh, where they got a huge welcome, and then passed uh, Elliot Lake, where my uh, parents eloped to uh, many years ago, as it happens. Uh, Justin Trudeau and his entire cabinet have come down with the dreaded panty waist variant and are self-isolating in the basement. You know, a lot of people have been protesting these mandates. Uh, NHS staff here about to be laid off. Australian shopkeepers. But I think it was a big mistake to target a demographic who have the biggest and most visible mode of transport. And there is now talk about organising a similar truck convoy on the continent. Are there any more risibly brain-dead slogans than follow the science? The science negates the case for vaccine mandates. The science says the vaccine's effectiveness dwindles in a few weeks to about 20% and repeated booster shots have less and less impact on the virus, but more and more on your immune system. Israel went to the fourth shot and it's a total bust. Every gefilte fish and matzo ball is dripping Omicron. The science says the vaccines don't prevent you getting the virus or prevent you giving the virus. The science says there's no need for children to get it. And men under 30, 35, 40, to put it at its mildest, need to think very carefully about getting it. The science says that effective vaccines are difficult. They historically take years, sometimes decades, to develop. So it's no surprise that a nine-month miracle cure turns out to be underperforming dramatically. COVID, in one form or another, is here to stay. Uh, so the choice is, do you want to live with it, or do you want to put life on hold and lock down forever? Whatever consensus there once was is fraying day by day. We're going to have more on this later in the show from someone who is taking Her Majesty's government to court over these so-called vaccine mandates.